Carlos Cruz Diaz is a Franco-Venezuelan artist who is recognized globally as an expert of color within kinetic and optic art. For five decades, the 92-year-old artist has experimented with the optics of color through eye-catching works, which the artist calls light environments. According to the Museum of Fine Arts Houston, these experimental works engage the response of the human eye while insisting on the participatory nature of color. As a pioneer of color theory and perception, Cruz Diaz began exploring the role of color as a transcendental force, something that could alter the viewer's perception through the use of light and the moiré pattern. The idea behind kinetic art is that color, line, and perception create movement through visual effects. Dizziness. Obscure blur, downpour, haze, drizzle, sparkle, sprinkle, dribble, missile, drip, drop, eclat, soup. The artist's work ranges from street interventions, such as painted crosswalks, to innovative chromatic sculptures, which the artist calls architectural interventions. One of these sculptures, part of Cruz Diaz's Physichromy series, is located at the University of Houston in the Public Art Collection. Physichromy Double Face was installed in 2008 and is located on the north side of the Welcome Center off University Boulevard. The sculpture is a serpentine wall that spans 53 feet long. It is made up of 2,000 individual painted pieces, all working in unison to create an optical effect. Splashes of colors such as red, blue, green, yellow, basic colors, align in aluminum modules which are designed to change and blend in a bizarre and unexpected way. This sculpture is Cruz Diaz's first commercial commission in the United States, a surprising fact when considering his fame worldwide. Now that we've encountered one of Cruz Diaz's psychedelic pieces, Let's travel back in time to when the artist first began creating his colorful environments. Cruz Diaz's artistic journey begins in Caracas, Venezuela, where the artist was born in 1923. While in Venezuela, Cruz Diaz studied with an international advertising agency and worked as an illustrator for a Caracas newspaper. In the early 1950s, the artist began experimenting with mural projects, and in 1959, he unleashed his series of Fisichromias. This is the first instance of Cruz Diaz creating what would later become the sculptures that comprise his Fisichromi series, which he continues to produce today. Cruz Diaz permanently moved to Paris in 1960, though he has split his time as an artist in both Caracas and Paris. The move to Paris was inspired in part by the influence of European avant-garde artists. In Europe in the 1960s, Cruz Diaz's name became synonymous with the kinetic art movement as well as the modern and abstract art movements. His name and his work is often associated with other masters who experiment with color, including Jackson Pollock and Frank Stella. Himself a pioneer, Cruz Diaz's work fit right into the vein of Marcel Duchamp's roto-reliefs. In the decades following, Cruz Diaz became prolific in his artistic output experimenting with a diverse range of surfaces and environments. 
In 2011, the Museum of Fine Arts Houston and the Cruz Diaz Foundation presented the first large-scale retrospective of the artist's work, titled Color in Space and Time. The exhibition featured more than 150 works, placing 20th century modernism in a broader context for international audiences. Whether attending the Carlos Cruz Diaz Museum in Caracas or viewing his groundbreaking installation in the U.S. on the University of Houston campus, Cruz Diaz's contributions to the world of kinetic art should not go unnoticed. For more than 50 years, the 92-year-old Cruz Diaz has dedicated his life to creating a kind of revolutionary artistic language, to quote the artist, by projecting color into space. We are honored to have his internationally recognized work represented here in Houston. L'univers de mes souvenirs de jeu, avec tes fleurs d'oranger de mille étincelles, donne une explosion de sens, une effervescence. 